I'm uh, Robert Mullins, uh, co-founder of the Raspberry Pi Foundation, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with Raspberry Pi. So I have my Raspberry Pi. Just say a little bit about what it is. So it's a credit card sized computer, very powerful computer. Um, we'll just say a little bit about the interfaces it has. So it's a HDMI port um, for video output, uh, Ethernet for your network connection, uh, two USB ports, and we're going to use those for keyboard and mouse, um, an audio output, an old style composite video output if you have an older style television, and then an SD card slot um, for storing your operating system and the applications that you're going to run. We also have um, some general purpose I.O. pins. Um, and this is one, I think, one of the exciting things about the Raspberry Pi platform. Not only is it really small and really low powered, so you can imagine battery powered applications, but it's got these um, open interfaces to um, enable you to connect it to other electronic components. And there's digital camera and uh, LCD interfaces as well. Um, so let's get started. So um, what do we need to do? Well, simply need to plug in the monitor, plug in your keyboard and mouse, just going to plug those into the two USB ports. Your operating system your, with your uh, applications. And then um, the final thing we need is some power. And this is provided by a standard micro USB adapter. OK, and now we're, we're starting to boot. And this takes normally about 15 seconds. So a standard um, a desktop environment, as you would expect, uh, with the lovely Raspberry Pi logo. One of the primary goals for Raspberry Pi is to encourage people to uh, learn to program. And um, I can demonstrate a, a, a very nice system for doing that uh, called Scratch from MIT. So Scratch is a, a graphical programming language. It enables you to write programs by dragging and dropping constructs um, into this programming window. Um, and then it enables children who are learning to program um, to create uh, graphical games and, and stories um, by uh, by, by creating a program. Um, and it's a, it's a really nice way to get people um, learning program in a sort of frustration-free environment. So there's a very powerful graphics processor um, on the system on a chip that is at the heart of Raspberry Pi. Um, and this is able to provide very high quality graphics output. So both um, 3D graphics and uh, video playback. So we'll just demonstrate a video playing as well. So uh, what we have here is a um, Blu-ray quality video, 1080p, playing back um, uh, using the Raspberry Pi. So one of, the, um, one of the uses of Raspberry Pi that many people are excited about is using it as a very low cost media center. Um, and the output is very high quality and it's incredibly low power. So at this point, it's perhaps dissipating one to two watts. Uh, so Raspberry Pi will be available for 22 pounds or $35. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the community will be able to produce. Um, I think what's exciting is the low power, um, the small, the, the, the form factor enabling to build this into untethered devices, um, using it as a, as a device to control robots. Um, I think uh, there's a very powerful array of interfaces uh, to connect it to different sensors and display devices. And um, I just think that it's... Uh, uh, given the, the creativity that we've already seen in the, in the community, I'm just really excited to see what people are going to do with it.